Hi, in this video I am going to explain how to deal with the comparison test. See the statement of the comparison test. If xn and yn are the two positive term series such that series yn dominates series xn for all n is greater than or equal to k, then first if series yn is convergent then series xn is also convergent and if series xn is divergent then series yn is also divergent. Series yn dominate series xn means after kth term all term of the series yn are greater than all term of series xn. See example if we have a series xn is equal to 7 plus 107 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 and so on and series yn is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 and so on. See first term of the series xn is greater than uh, say first term of series yn second term of series xn is greater than second term of series yn but after third term uh, all term of the series yn are greater than all term of the series xn therefore we can write uh, series yn dominate series xn for all n greater than or equal to 3 which means after second term all term of the series yn greater than or equal to all term of the series xn this is the meaning of this statement the series yn convergent then series if series yn is convergent then we say series xn is also convergent and if xn is divergent then series yn is also divergent this is happen because we know that in positive term series a series is convergent if its sequence of partial sum is bounded if the sequence of partial sum is bounded of series yn then obviously the sequence of partial sum of this series is also bounded because this series is smaller than this series if series xn is divergent means sequence of partial sum of this series is unbounded if sequence of partial sum of smaller series is unbounded which implies sequence of partial sum of bigger series is also unbounded therefore divergence of series xn implies divergence of series yn and convergence of yn implies the convergence of series xn say example test the convergence of the following series we have series 1 by n factorial we know that n factorial is greater than n square for n is greater than or equal to 4 which means after fourth term all term of n factorial are greater than n square taking reciprocal we get 1 upon n factorial is less than 1 upon n square for all n greater than or equal to 4 therefore series 1 by n factorial is less than series 1 by n square for all n greater than or equal to 4 but we know that the series uh, 1 by n square is convergent series because this is the p series with p is greater than 1 therefore this is the convergent series therefore by comparison test 1 by n factorial is also convergent series see second series n is running from 2 to infinity 1 upon natural logarithm of n we know that natural logarithm of n is less than or equal to n for all n greater than or equal to 2 taking reciprocal then we get 1 by n is less than 1 by natural logarithm of n for all n greater than or equal to 2 which implies series 1 by n is less than or equal to series 1 upon ln of n for all n greater than or equal to 2 but we know that 1 by n is the p series with p is less than 1 therefore this is the divergent series therefore by comparison test this series is also divergent see another example we have a series cos of n upon n square but we know that cos of n by n square is less than or equal to 1 by n square again this is the p series with p is greater than 1 therefore this is the convergent series therefore by comparison test this series is also convergent this is all about the comparison test if you like this video please like and share it for more such videos you can subscribe to the youtube channel www.youtube.com slash live mathematica if you have any doubt write in comment box video related to that topic will be uploaded as soon as possible or you can like the facebook page live mathematica post your doubt on page i will try to solve it in couple of days thank you